So let me show you a couple different maps we get here. On the top right, we have the open street map, which is essentially that, and it does have an overlay of navigational data, which you can remove. Now, something that I noticed over in UK, some of the airports actually had uh, frequencies. Actually, look at this one right here. So this one has something. It has Salt Lake City International, elevation 1,288 meters, uh, runway length. Okay guys, so as you saw, it is absolutely amazing having that VFR map slash sectional in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 uh, VR until we get a better map or Navigraph or something else implemented. Uh, I want to thank Christian. Christian was the one who posted this on our Facebook group. And if this software looks familiar, it's because uh, there is another one. I think it's called Julian's VFR mod, which Christian is working with Julian or they're kind of like working on this together. Uh, Julian is aware of this project and he's pretty excited about it as well. So if this looks familiar, that's why, because there's already a version of this out there. But this one improved on a few things and Christian is sharing it with us. Links are going to be below. Once you uh, navigate over here to his GitHub, you're going to go ahead and download this file. It's a zip file. Now keep in mind if you do not have WinZip or WinRAR, if you're new to modding, these files are used to compress. I will link to WinRAR below, which is free, and it'll let you uncompress it. Go ahead, click on download. It's gonna go to your download folder, open it up. And guys, we're gonna have just a few files in here. It's very simple. The first one's gonna be a readme file. I suggest you take a quick glance, read it through. It's not very long. You don't have to read all the code, but if you guys want to tweak it and do a couple changes, there's a couple things here and he talks about that. So there's two parts of this. There's the VFR map server and the Microsoft SFS panel, which goes in the community folder. So when we come right over here, guys, I actually have my community folder pinned on the left. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and drag the Microsoft Flight Sim panel right into, I'm not going to drag it into these folders here. Let me see if I could do it in a better way. Yeah, so don't drop it inside the folder inside one of these. Make sure you just drag it up top here. And by dragging the top, it's asking me to replace it. And you're going to see, boom, it pops up. So I just don't want you to drag it here because it will drop it inside of that folder. So you actually can just drop it over here on the community folder to your left. Same thing. There it goes. So once you have that done, um, I'm going to show you where I keep my server folder. I pretty much just drag it right here to my F drive. And then from here, I open that up. I right click and then send to desktop. So I already have one here, as you can see, VFR map. I'm gonna delete the old one. We'll keep this one here. I hit F2. I'm gonna rename it VFR map. Now I know that's my VFR map. So the way this works, guys, you're going to boot up Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Once you're in the game, once you have the, the sim loaded up, go ahead and open this file. It's going to ask to connect to the network. You hit yes, allow. Perfect. Go ahead and minimize that. And let's start the game. All right, guys, so now if you're doing those two quick steps, uh, the next thing is pretty simple. You're going to come up to the top, and it should be right here, VFR map for VR. If you don't see it there, check the custom toolbar and just make sure it's highlighted here in blue. It's turned on. So when you turn it on here, guys, it's going to pop up at the bottom. And as you can see, we are currently flying over Salt Lake City, which is uh, pretty cool. I haven't flown here before. Now... It actually, when you turn it on the first time, it's going to probably put you over Birmingham Airport, Echo Gulf, Bravo, Bravo. So once you hit center aircraft, it'll bring you right to where your location is. Now, guys, when you zoom in here, look at this. You can see this is Dwight D. Eisenhower Highway. It's showing that there's swamps right beneath us. Or I guess marshlands, right? I'm not sure what that is. That is so cool. Salt Lake International Center, it's 12 o'clock. And how far is that? Oh, up there, we see all those buildings. That is so crazy. So you guys can go and literally find helipads, you know, find streets, hospital helipads, heliports, Century Equipment Company heliport. This is just so cool. You guys can literally zoom in and find businesses. That is just too funny. So let me show you a couple different maps we get here. 
on the top right we have the open street map which is essentially that and it does have an overlay of navigational data which you can remove now something that i noticed over in uk some of the airports actually had uh, frequencies actually look at this one right here so this one has something it has salt lake city international elevation 1288 meters uh runway length no that's not right i'm not sure i'm not sure what that second one is it might be runway length I th that's what i thought it was anyway so we have that we have a frequency there and some of the airports have more information than others you might have a vor that actually has a frequency so just kind of cool to keep an eye out for that now we are right over the international center whatever this is i am not sure it's kind of interesting all right so the next map guys we have the terrain map this map is excellent look up ahead if we're going to be flying into those mountains carving them you know doing some backcountry bush flying these maps are amazing i've done it it's really cool so if you guys fly vfr backcountry you guys need this the second one here, it's like a black and white display, the, or the second one, right? it's the third one. The fourth one shows water. Now, that's excellent if you guys are in your um, Icon A5s or something similar. The last one here is my favorite. It's the Cardo. It's the dark. It's the night mode. So when you guys go up here and change the time to nighttime, it is amazing because one of the things we have to deal with VR, it's the glare from bright white objects. And a lot of times these maps are not meant for VR. They're not VR friendly. They're just very white. So as you can see, it's black and it is amazing. Now I'm gonna link the mod for this red flashlight, which I love to use when I fly as well. This mod is really cool. Uh, both of these mods are very FPS friendly and they work well in VR. And if any more updates come out, I'll definitely link them below and I'll share that information with you guys. But so far I am really enjoying these mods, guys. This is just really cool. It's a little bit harder to see the airport here at night But how cool is that? Check this out. We have live traffic inbound. We are right over the highway. And this is this is gorgeous here. But guys, if you guys uh, found value in this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you uh, want more content, don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you guys have another app or something else you guys find helpful and useful, let me know. You know, I'll definitely take a look at it. I'm always, you know, looking for new content to uh, share with uh, my other VR geeks. So, um, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. And man, this airport's actually really nice. I don't think I've uh, been here before. Whoa. So I'll let you guys go, guys. Take it easy.